demonstration of a Honeywell flame scanner system. Here I have a P522 AC model wired to an S550BE. The signal processor will also work fine with the Iris predecessor, which uses the older connector. When you power up the unit, you will notice the LED will begin to flash some characters. It's important to note the very last value, which should display the model number of the viewing head. This indicates the processor recognizes the viewing head. If you hold down the A and B buttons together, you can access the configuration parameters for the connected viewing head. If the head is disconnected while the processor is powered up, it will show no apparent faults. However, holding down the A and B buttons will no longer access the viewing head configuration parameters. When you reconnect the head, the unit will often fail on self-check. This will result in a lockout. If this happens, simply press the reset button. The unit will then re-establish communication. In many cases, disconnecting and reconnecting the head will not actually trigger a lockout condition. If this condition is present, you will not be able to access the viewing head configuration parameters, even though the head is connected. It's important to note that every time you connect a head, the processor must go through a power-up to establish communication with the viewing head. It is best to remove power to the processor before connecting a viewing head. The combo head has two different sensors. The IR sensor can be triggered by a standard flashlight and will be indicated by the red LED value on the viewing head. You must flash the light rapidly to get the head to trigger because it has a frequency filtering. The UV cell can be tested with a standard lighter and will be represented by the green LED on the viewing head. If the flame is dancing around, it will also trigger the IR cell. The viewing head display shows the pulse rate of the sensor. If you add the red and green values together and multiply by 100, you should get the total pulse rate output sent to the signal processor. The configuration parameters of the viewing head are pretty straightforward. The AU parameter is the UV sensor gain. The value can be adjusted to increase or decrease sensitivity of the respective radiation. The A value represents the IR gain. By decreasing a gain to zero, you disable that sensor. In this case, I've increased the UV and eliminated the IR. This should produce a viewing head which is hypersensitive to UV and has no response to IR, as demonstrated here. The IR has an additional configuration parameter besides the gain. The filter determines the frequency that IR can be detected. With the current filter settings, moving a flashlight slow does not produce high values. By dropping the IR filter value, it lowers the frequency cutoff, which allows lower frequencies to trigger flame detection. Increasing this value will raise the frequency threshold, requiring higher frequencies to trigger an IR response. The head can also be easily returned to the factory default values.